Hi everyone, on this video I will be preparing my meatloaf. So what I have here is my ground beef. This is about two and a half pounds of ground beef. It came out of a five pound pack and I took half of it out. This is some sausage, just regular breakfast sausage, um, mild. This is my soup onion mix. I'll try to list all the ingredients in the captions so that you all will have that in case you want to make it. I have my Worcestershire sauce, my mustard powder, as well as my yellow mustard, some chopped onion, as well as minced garlic. I have one egg that I'm going to beat, as well as a few of my seasonings that I use and a little bit of my hot sauce. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and combine everything together. So I'm going to go ahead and beat this egg because we're going to need to add that in. I'm going to add my sausage. Usually I use like an Italian sausage, but I didn't have any, so <laughs> I have to improvise when I don't have things actually at the house. So you can use either one. They'll both work. Got my onions in there. For the minced garlic, I'm going to use one teaspoon of minced garlic. And then I'm going to use a tablespoon of Worcestershire. I'm also going to add one tablespoon of the Louisiana hot sauce. And again, that's just for a little kick. You don't have to add that in if you don't want to. I'm going to go ahead and add my seasonings. This is a blend of my uh, Greek all-purpose, my seasonal, and some cumin. I have my yellow mustard. I'm going to add about, it's going to be about a tablespoon. I'm going to add my onion soup mix. Go ahead and add my egg. And a little bit of my mustard powder. About a teaspoon of that. Maybe a little more. Mustard powder is so good. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and mix everything together. Let me get my gloves on. Okay, you all, I went on and got everything pretty much out the way. And now you just want to mix all that together. And what I'm going to do, I, I don't usually do the typical loaf. Those that follow me know um, I made a meat roll-up, which I stuffed with some, not stuffed, but I rolled up some, it was like spinach and cream cheese. Um, then I did another meat, uh, meat roll-up another time. I don't think I've ever just did a meat loaf. It's just so boring just looking at the loaf. So if you want to put it into a loaf, you can. All you want to do is once you finish mixing everything together, then go ahead and shape yours into a loaf. And you would just bake that like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make mine in the shape of, I'm going to cook mine in my cast iron skillet. And I also have some potatoes on the stove so I can make my homemade mashed potatoes. And I'm going to like make a like a meat loaf pie, if that makes sense. My mashed potatoes will serve as my icing and my meat loaf will be my actual, my meat will be my, you know, my pie. All right, so once that's mixed all in, I'm going to see, I'm going to um, put it into my cast iron. And you just want to press it out. Just like it. So if you were making a loaf, you would just shape it into a loaf. But because I'm doing like a pie, then I'm going to shape mine and shape it real good into the pie. So I'm going to do that and then we'll come back before we put it in the oven. So you just want to shape it on out and get it good because you know how beef shrinks. So you just want to get it shaped real good. Okay, you all, as you can see, and turn you back around. So I got it shaped. Um, I just made my meat like it's, you know, it serves as the crust. My mashed potatoes will serve as the inside, as the pie filling. I'm making just like a little meatloaf pie. I don't know where I come up with some of the things. Well, God has to give me these ideas, y'all. I'm telling you, stuff just pops in my head. Um, and oftentimes at the last minute, I don't even be knowing what I'm gonna do. Um, it just comes to me to do it. <laughs> so as you can see, 
Uh-oh. You see how it, it indents like a pie crust? So I'm going to bake this in here, and it's not going to stick because um, the ground beef makes its own oil. So I did uh, line, like oil my skillet lightly with some olive oil, the non extra virgin nonstick, uh, the cooking spray. Um, but you know the beef naturally makes its own juices. So we'll come back once this is cooked. So you just want to cook it till it's done. Okay, you all. So I cooked my meatloaf pie <laughs> for about, um, let's see if you can see it. I want you to see the sides. For about 35 minutes. So mine is done to my liking. I had to drain the grease off because you all know that cooked, you know, ground beef is really greasy. Um, so I'm going to let it cool for a minute and then we're going to go ahead and add our um, mashed potatoes. I made some homemade mash which I have here in my pot. I'm gonna put that on top as my icing. And then I'm gonna cut a piece, you all, and taste it for you. So I'm gonna give it a few minutes to cool and then we'll come right back. Okay, you all, so I have spread it on most of my mashed potatoes. I made just enough, I boiled three potatoes. I'm almost out of mashed potatoes. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle on some, I have some fresh bacon, I cooked some bacon. I was going to do cheese, but I said, no, but you know, you could put on yours what you want. And, um, and the last thing I'm going to add is just a little of my, um, fresh chopped parsley that I have here. And then I'm going to cut a piece. I'm going to show you all it before I cut it. Um. So let me know what you think. I, I have to psych myself kind of to eat meatloaf because I don't really care for meatloaf. That's why I never make it. That's why you you don't have you don't never see a video of meatloaf on my thing. I just I don't know what it is. It's something about meatloaf. Um, but I just wanted you all to see it. It is so heavy. I hope you all like it. So let me cut a piece real quick. Um, so you all can see where is my cutter. All right, it's just like having pie that way. Maybe I like it better if it's in a pie form. <laughs> All right, let me get my plate. So y'all can see. All right. All right, let's look at it. There is our meatloaf pie, I guess we want to call it. All right, let me try a piece. Can y'all see? I'll try a piece with, with it right here. I have a fork. Let me get my fork. All right. Looks delicious. Let's try it together. All right, let me see. Mm, mm, mm. You are. Mm, that flavor is so good. That is good right there. Now, wait a minute now. Now, y'all know. I'll be telling y'all the truth. If you try this, you all, please let me know. <laughs> please, please, please let me know. Um, if you all need help with making the homemade mash, let me know. And I'll do a video for it because I don't, I know I made one, but I don't know what happened to it or where it is. So if you um, want me to help you with that, let me know. But it that is delicious. And of course, like I said, if you want it in the loaf, just shape it into the loaf. The flavor is still going to be the same. The flavor will still be there. And I just want to thank you all for your time. Thanks for watching. If you try the recipe, please let me know. I love you all and I'll see you all soon in my kitchen. Mm -mm -mm. We about to enjoy some meatloaf pie. Yes, God. Look at God. Have a good night.